What's going on guys? So a popular question I see on the Facebook Silverado group is should you get a 5.3 or should you step up and get a 6.2? So 5.3 has 355 horsepower, 383 foot-pounds of torque. 6.2 has 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. So a pretty big difference between the two, right? But how much does that actually translate to on-the-road performance? So today we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head battle between them using the Draggy. We're going to take the 5.3 out, see what kind of numbers it puts down, and then we're going to put the stock wheels and tires from it onto mine and see what the 6.2 can put down both of the trucks are pretty much identical 10 speed 323 rears dual transfer case four wheel drive they're both trail bosses same exact options everything is the exact same right except 6.2 and 5.3 Two-wheel drive, traction off sport mode. See what she'll do. Okay. Just a little spin. light racing two-wheel drive 5.3 might surprise you because it might not be as likely to spin whereas if you got more torque you're just gonna light the tires up you're not gonna move forward so not too shabby two-wheel drive let's try not to spin real light launch Let's test it out. Sport mode, traction control off. Let's throw it in four high. Run it up to about 2,000. foot 2.5 0 to 30 3.2 0 to 60 7.1 eighth mile 9.9 .9, that's not bad and a thousand foot 12.8 quarter mile 15 that's pretty good because i let off like way early so honestly not too shabby uh that was not not bad at all four wheel drive launch traction off sport mode
foot, 2.0, which is what I did at the drag strip, 0 to 60, 5.5, eighth <laughs> uh, mile, 8.89, 1,000 foot, 11.5, and letting off, we still ran a 13.9 in the quarter mile. So, yeah, she was absolutely ripping, and I definitely could have applied more throttle, and even, it didn't spin, so I could turn my throttle sensitivity up real high, and I'll have it up high because we're doing a side-by-side -side comparison versus the 5.3, which does not have a pulsar, so I don't have it turned up, but, dude, that makes me want to have lightweight wheels and tires. Holy crap. Dude, it freaking ripped. 30. 30. I'm not sure what's more dramatic, the performance difference with swapping wheels and tires or the appearance difference with swapping wheels and tires because the black truck's looking about a thousand times better with the 24s on there, in my opinion, and my truck's kind of over here just crying. But it definitely rips with these lightweight wheels and tires. So 80 pounds versus 120 pounds. You can definitely feel the difference. I'm not sure what the numbers are off the top of my head, but I'm sure you've already seen them back to back. And I'm probably have them on screen here as well. Just a comparison, 5.3 versus 6.2. Um, I feel like there's probably a good difference between the numbers. The best run we ran in this versus that one. Um, as far as the way they feel, the 6.2 feels so much faster. Launching off the line, the 5.3 kind of has a dead zone. And then it starts picking up real good. 10 speed definitely helps it out. Keeps in that peak power. And uh, it shifts out great. Runs good, high RPMs. But the 6.2, you benefit a ton, that low range to mid range. So as far as should you buy one over another, personal experience having driven both of these a lot, mine especially since I daily drive it, but um, I'm not gonna be biased just because the 6.2 is my truck. My last truck was a 5.3. I felt it was very slow, very sluggish, and sometimes just annoying. I feel like they fixed that with the 10 speed. The 10 speed in these trucks dramatically help um, the way that they feel and perform. So I really don't have much to complain about with the 5.3 as just a daily driver. Obviously with the big wheels and tires like this that affect my 6.2 pretty badly, they're gonna affect the 5.3 even more. I would go out and get some runs with it, but this is not my truck and I don't wanna go out there and snap an axle, just have a fluke thing. Even though mine hasn't snapped an axle and it's leveled, I don't want to test it because it's not my truck. The 6.2 is for someone that wants to enjoy driving more. So the 5.3 is catered more to just your standard daily driver, whereas the 6.2 is for the people that want to go and daily drive a more fun, sporty truck. So the extra torque you will enjoy in pretty much every scenario while driving. Off the line, mid-range, passing, pretty much everywhere you're going to feel the big difference between the 6.2 and the 5.3 and that's the biggest thing you want to really decide on what you're going to be using your truck for if you're going to just go out and drive it you want to lift it real big just just cruise around and stuff there's really not a reason to get a 6.2 in my opinion i think in 2022 it's up to like a five thousand dollar upcharge where i think it was only two thousand on my truck it's a pretty big jump an extra five grand for this over this if you're buying a 2022 um so if you're just cruising whatever 5.3 is probably perfectly fine for you. Get it with the 10 speed, you're gonna enjoy it. But like I said, for someone that wants to enjoy their truck being more sporty, more torquey, have a have a more raw, um, just sporty feel, the 6.2 is gonna be the one you wanna get because it does dramatically feel different than the 5.3 in pretty much every scenario. Pair with the 10 speed, it just drives really, really good, especially on some lightweight wheels and tires. It just rips everywhere with these things. It still drives really well, and, and full throttle accelerations are still really good with the 24s. But, it, dude, it straight rips on these things. Y'all saw we got a 5.5. I think it was 5.5. Um, 0 to 60, and, and out here in the real world, that's pretty freaking awesome. Like, that's pretty quick, right? I know there's going to be people in the comments saying that it's slow and their truck's way faster, and that's perfectly fine. Now, the 6.2 is not necessarily something you have to go out and get a high country or a trail boss or whatever in. You can actually option it in pretty much everything. You just, you're just you going to have to order it because most things are either going to come in a LT trail boss, a high country, a Denali. Something like that is what's going to come to the dealership with a 6.2. You can order one. You can even order a 6.2 and a custom trail boss. So you can get them pretty cheap with the big engine. 
but you're probably gonna have to actually order it. The big difference between the two after purchasing them is gonna be fuel economy though, and not in the sense of, oh, I get 18 miles to the gallon because both of these trucks are gonna get pretty much the exact same. From my experience, both of them pretty much the exact same. You drive them the same, they exactly, pretty much get exactly the same fuel economy. But you do have to remember, 93 is recommended for the 6.2 and you're pretty much gonna want to run 93 in it. it it's it says recommended it doesn't say required but you're gonna want to run 93 there's gonna be people in the comments saying they've run an 87 for you know, 100,000 miles and never had an issue but most people are gonna feel and see that 93 does perform better in the truck whereas the 5.3 there's really no reason to run 93 87 is perfectly fine for it so to get the peak performance and uh miles per gallon and everything you're going to run 93 in the 62 and 87 is fine in the 53 so you're going to be paying about a dollar difference um per gallon more so if you don't really plan on using that extra horsepower and torque you might opt for just getting the 5.3 because you're just going to be burning more fuel because you're going to have to be putting 93 in it so even though the 6.2 is more powerful they're both rated to tow about the exact same so honestly, it all comes down to what you're gonna be using your truck for. When I sold my 2018, I got a cash offer for it. And the only reason why I would sell it was because I wanted to experience the 6.2. So I knew there was no way I was gonna be selling my last truck just to get another truck. Even though the 10 speed is dramatically better, I didn't feel like it was worth the upgrade unless I went with a 6.2. And it has not disappointed. I've absolutely loved it. It rips, it's way faster, it's way quicker, it's way more enjoyable to drive. 